Good morning guys and welcome back to another video now. Today is a big day. We have the gold medal match between Australia and India. The bronze medal match between New Zealand and in in oh my God, England. As you can tell, it is morning. It is only 8.01. Today I have asked to do a full gym and a bike session. So I'm pretty much going to head downstairs to the gym, see if it's open and then complete that and then go have some brekkie because I am starving but I do like to train in the gym on an empty stomach so let's head downstairs. Alrighty got my water heading to the gym. Why. Even though it's nice and cool outside, it's hot doing the bike session. I'm sweating up a storm. Oh. Gym and bike session done. Time to get some food. I am starving. Alrighty, just had breakfast now. Heading back to the room to have a shower, get changed. Heading out now to grab a coffee and then I'm going to walk over to the village. It's such a nice day out there. How can I not? Got my coffee. It's a beautiful morning. The sun is out. Today's going to be a good day. Other than that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You made a run for the bus. Oh, bless. Anyway, I'll let you get on. No. Oh, yeah. Got myself a burger. How good does this look? Burger, so good. Yeah. And also, they've done a write up on what's going on today. That's sick. I actually really like that. That's actually a really good idea. Plus, we've got three more pins. So, slowly getting there, slowly getting there. Whew, just got back to the hotel. Guys, you are not gonna believe what pin I got. I got an extra five this morning. I am super excited to show you. We'll head back to the room. I right, I feel like I get in a candy store. This is awesome. So close to finishing. Any grand final wisdom for today? D bag. Are you nervous? Are you happy? Yes, I'm shitting bricks. <laughs> nah, it's exciting. Just hopefully we can do it. Yeah. Just another game of cricket though, so. Exactly, exactly. Just one more to go. All calm and collected. One more to go, yeah. and then hopefully that gold. We get a medal no matter what. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but hopefully it's gold. Yeah, <laughs> On the podium. Podium. Podium check it. It is the yellow one, isn't it? Same yeah. jacket. Yeah. I would never have thought India would be in the boxing. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think it was a sport. Yeah. Okay. Podium. Playing stuff. Training talk. And then. Time to pick. Everything's packed, organised. Oh, yeah, better get organised now. <laughs> Drunk tonight. <laughs> you mean tomorrow? Close the ceremony is tomorrow night. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, true. Good. Yeah, good for me. Done a little bit of packing. Time to head downstairs for a little bit of a snack. And then head upstairs, get changed, and then head to our team meetings. Okay, so as you just saw, the pins that I just showed you, I just got changed real quickly as well. Um, we first off, we got the Belize pin. It's a little round one. Got that. We got the St. Kitts and Nevis pin. One with like a little bird on it. And we also got a kangaroo with little boxing gloves on, which is super cute, super adorable. Um, we got the Malta 
Ultra Pin. So this was really, really cool to get. Um, they were on their way out of the village. Um, they were about to leave and I was like, do you just have any spare pins you want to trade or just get rid of? Um, and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, awesome, thank you so much. And then this one, the, I don't know how do you actually pronounce this one, but it's um, the Nor Norfolk Island. Norfolk, yeah, it was something like that. Okay, now this, this is the pin that I was so excited about. So I was walking back from the village um, to our village and I just saw some cleaners just walking along the road and I was on the same side of them on the footpath and I was like, guys, first off I asked if they had seen any Cook Island pins because that one is so hard to find. And I was like, do you have any Cook Island pins? I've been searching all day for this this pin and I can't find anyone that has it. And they're like, nah, I don't think so. I was like, well, can I just have a look at your pins and what you've got? Because I'm trying to collect them all. I've got, what, nine to go. Can I please have a look? And then, because I had, I had two of these boxing kangaroo ones. And I was like, I've got this boxing kangaroo that I'm really, you know, I'm, I'm happy to swap with if you've got anything that I need. Um, or I've got plenty on my lanyard that I could, I've got doubles. Like I, I have still got um, an England one or two England ones and two Aussie ones and some other stuff. But I was like, if you, if you like anything you see, I'm more than happy to swap with you. And then I was going to swap for a Sri Lankan peacock one. And then I look at the last lanyard and it had this one on it. And I was like, what is that? I can't see it. Can I have a look at it closely? And then it said Norfolk. And I was like, oh, that is a rare pin. Because their country, well, their, yeah, their pin, their pack is literally only for lawn bowls here. And lawn bowls have already done and dusted. They're gone. So to get this from a cleaner was an awesome pickup. So I'm really happy with that. I thought I wasn't, that was the pin that I thought I wasn't gonna get. So here we are. This might actually do be doable. This might be doable. I've still got hope. I've still got hope. <laughs> but on more important news, we have the gold medal match today. My bags are packed. I've got so many shirts in there to get signed. Um, I've packed my bags for freighted home stuff, my bag for the Southern Brave. Um, I can't believe we leave in two days. So we've got today, the gold match, and then tomorrow we've got the closing ceremony t tomorrow night, so we've got the whole day off, so I might actually make a day trip down to the village for one last stretch at getting pins. Um, and then, yeah, I guess, yeah, we go home. Well, I go to I go to Southern Brave on Tuesday and to Southampton, and I play that day. So it's going to be interesting. Day after the, uh, the closing ceremony, I better not drink too much.
and now it's time for you to sign. Yeah, <laughs> Got a quite a quite a lot to do actually. Helmets and all. <laughs> you headbutt someone. Go. <laughs> oh, I want to say one thing that I saw written on a whiteboard. Gold medal, bitches. Yeah! <laughs> oh! We out. Time to go to the hotel and celebrate. Can't fill in your bag, so you're gonna wear it. <laughs> Perfect. With the mask. back in the room right now it is quite late um we're about to get changed and head to a bar so uh on that note i think i'll leave you guys with whatever whatever i've given you the moments before um i am quite tired i am quite uh i've had a few drinks as you can tell probably um so i guess i will leave it to you guys to watch the next video um this has been quite amazing this whole experience of the commonwealth games it's just been absolutely amazing it's blown my mind at how well this competition has gone and that the um the standards of cricket has been played so i guess congratulations on the commonwealth games for you know having the belief of adding cricket into the commonwealth games and for how successful it's actually been it's been awesome to see and you know fingers crossed we're we're in the next one but um yeah i guess time will time will tell um but yeah time to go celebrate um because you know we got the gold how good is this this thing is so heavy um this is you know weighs more than my chains at the moment but um yeah i'm gonna be called uh, five chains now because of this but yeah like i to be honest i wouldn't have never thought to win a gold medal for cricket so to be here in birmingham to win a gold medal for cricket is it just blows my mind honestly like i don't know i would never have thought women's cricket would be introduced to to the commonwealth games and yeah to have a medal is truly unbelievable um so this is what it's pretty much looks like 
I know I'm probably rambling, um, especially because I've had a few drinks. But um, yeah, look, that's what teams do when we win. Um, and I do want to give you behind the scenes, you know, um, experience. Um, so yeah, time to go chill out with the girls, celebrate. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Tomorrow, we've got the closing ceremony. Um, and I'll probably, knowing me, I'll head to the village to try and finish my pin collection. But after that, I head to the 100. Um, so on the Tuesday, I will play the first warm-up game. Um, because obviously I haven't had any game time. So I will play a game. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to joining up with the Southern Brave, the Southern ba uh, the Brave Babes. Um, yeah, I cannot wait. So pretty keen for that. Um, but yeah, I guess this, like I never, yeah, probably repeating myself, but I never would have thought I myself would play in a T20, um, Commonwealth Games game or series or whatever you want to call it. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, to be honest, I should have not even been here in the first place, um, especially being told that I wouldn't get picked in the first place and here I am. Um, and I've got a gold medal, so yeah, look, um, I'm going to wrap up the series here, uh, well, no, sorry, I'm going to wrap up the series tomorrow, but, um, yeah, I'll see you, in, see you tomorrow, uh, <laughs> I'm rambling now, but anyway, guys, so thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video, take care, guys.